know what skin I'm going for. What? Oh god, I've seen enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be good. So I'm gonna buy her. I've got some tokens. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock myself. A brand new operator looks pretty damn badass. And you also recommended ACOG sites are like the most OP thing in the game, apparently. So these things right here, I need to put on. So let, let's smack it on, baby. I'm done. What's going on, guys? Face Agony here with a brand new video. And no, as you can see, this is not It's time to stop! You know I mean? It's time to stop, okay? This is a no really more serious video. Where the fuck are your parents? <laughs> Who are like your parents? Your parents? Video, I love your I'm parents. gonna call Job really Protective really Services. Really it's really time to stop! Months. I don't know. Alright. So, guys. I've. I've been looking, I've been, in my spare time I've been reading on Reddit, and maybe even 4chan a bit, I don't, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a pro on any of that stuff, but I've been, yeah, every once in a while, just if I get bored, right, I browse, and I, I was on Rainbow Six Siege topic about mm, a month ago, I'd like to say, yeah, I was on, I was on that about one month ago, and I was reading, uh, I clicked rant. I wanted to see if any what what if there was any really big issues that I might be able to relate to that uh, people were having with the game, and I saw something that really really stood out to me. This was weird. Uh, not weird. What the hell? I'm, I'm not thinking. This uh, it made like it was it was on on. I can't talk today. It. It really rung a bell. Like everything that this guy was uh, typing, it, it I could relate to it all. There, he was he was mentioning how uh, with his time on YouTube, uh, he used to be maybe an Allie fan. Allie, uh, beard, hat, you know, basic streamer guy, but really doesn't stream. Just makes COD videos. Well, that's my point here. He said that he, he was on YouTube watching Ali A and he noticed that he dropped a new video on Rainbow Six. This is, I think, on an old post. I don't know. Like, maybe a year ago ish? I, I have no idea. But he noticed that Ali A had dropped a Rainbow Six Siege video. And you know, I, <laughs> people can play what they want. We're gamers. This is our. There's no, no rule telling us we can and can't play specific games. But you see. There's an issue with what Allier is doing. This guy's pointing it out, and I'm I'm highly agreeing to it. Now, before I get into this topic, I mean, I'm not any older than the kids I'm about to start talking about. Probably even younger. And and maybe uh, I played Call of Duty one v one with my friends. Maybe I'd maybe play three hours worth of Call of Duty in a year, like at a friend's house or something. I'm not a COD kid by any means. World War II is down the, down the toilet bowl for me. Never ever gonna even touch that game. And sure, maybe I was six, seven years old when I first started getting into gaming, the only thing I wanted to play was Black Ops, the first one. But I stopped. I'm not a COD kid by any means. No, I don't, I don't like COD. It's, it's a disgrace. I hate it. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Sure, I'll play it every once in a while, but I'm not by far a fan. Now here's where I actually get into the topic. Now he's saying that Ali A, after he dropped this Rainbow Six Siege video, he he couldn't help but notice that Ali didn't really know what he was doing, which is perfectly fine. You, it's fine. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. But the frustrating thing is. With Ali being a YouTuber, Ali has viewers, and with viewers, they're seeing what he's doing. They're wanting to do what he's doing. So, here comes Ali A bringing his army of Call of Duty kids to Rainbow Six Siege. And, and this, you can look at anybody, and people don't really notice that why this might be a r main reason why this game had a big drop in play. It made a comeback. People are playing it now. But for a long while there, like... A lot of people were really done with Rainbow Six because we were getting all these Call of Duty kids. And I personally stopped playing Rainbow Six for a good few months. 
until I hop back on with my friends. I've three, no four. I've had four friends recently get Rainbow Six Siege, and I've had I made a friend that has Rainbow Six Siege. It goes to my school, so I'm being, I'm playing it a lot more. That might be my reasoning, but I've been within those few months. I've maybe hopped on one or two times just to try to play because I was bored, and I swear. I once, I don't know if I was recording, I don't think I was, I, I joined a game, and I played four matches in a row where I got team killed the first round. I left, join another team kill, left, join another team kill, left, join another, you know, you get the point. It, and every time, it was some kid on there, hat fam, he got trolled, he got trolled, deal with it fam, hat lol, X D D D D. No, 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 you, you get it, you get what I'm trying to say here. And it is annoying, I mean, really, these, these kids hop on. But they're constantly beginning because one, either they're trolls and they don't want to learn how to play the game, or two, they're just fucking autistic, okay? Like, honestly? They, oh my god, it's ruining the community. All these Call of Duty kids come into the game thinking they know how to play, really they're just praying, spraying, and maybe throwing a few flashes, half the time bouncing them back to their own teammates, which is incredibly annoying, and I've learned from experience. Sure, I get on there, and half the time when I talk on the mic, it's, yo, kid, shut up. Shut up. Your parents let you, shouldn't let you be playing this game. Go play Splatoon. K -k kill yourself. No one likes you. That's, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I understand. It's an immature game, and I'm not even a teen yet, if you want me to be honest. But it's outrageous when a kid gets on there and he actually is worthy of criticism because he's doing something absolutely horrible that spreads AIDS throughout the gaming community. And that's just being a dumb douche on Rainbow Six Siege and it makes me mad. It makes a ton of other people mad. And I just had to make a video on this. I had to talk about this because I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. COD kids are ruining Rainbow Six Siege. Prepare for the apocalypse. I, I don't know the future of Rainbow Six. I'm kind of scared. I know I may be overreacting. I'll always have a special spot in my heart for Rainbow Six. I love Rainbow Six Siege. It's just, oh my god. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna, if they're gonna continue to stay positive or if there's gonna be another drop. But I just hate to see an amazing game, which I have six or seven hundred hours on if you combine both consoles, PC and PlayStation. And it's just, it's upsetting to see a game like that go. And that's just my commentary on that. Thank you for watching. Oh god, I'm doing an outro. Jesus Christ, no, I'm not doing that. Bye.